Hi, welcome to my channel. So today in this video, we are going to repair laptop adapter. SMPS. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yes, SMPS. The problem is that it's dropping the voltage when connected to the laptop. So let me show you its behavior. I'm seeing. I'm taking the series board. As you can see that. This indicator light is on this one so when i connect it to the laptop it's the output power cord so when i connect it to the laptop as you can see that this bulb is the LED indicator light is turning off and on so it means that it's not switching at all there is some shortage in between or uh, or some components are damaged and it's not charging at all so let's test what is wrong with the charger so first of all disconnect it So turn it down. Don't touch the and primary side of this board. You will get a shock. Let me show you voltage on the main filter capacitor, which is nearly charged to almost 300 volts. These are the points of capacitor. you can see that it's charged to almost 345 volts if you touch this you will get a huge shock so we have to just charge it first by using a resistor so I'm using the 47 kilo ohm resistor 5 volt resistor to discharge the capacitor please make sure not to touch the points of the resistor while discharging the capacitor It will discharge the capacitor in few seconds. So let's check the voltage again. Yes, the capacitor is now fully discharged, almost 5.4 volts. So it's safe, safe to touch it. So now we have to check the circuit board. That which of the component? I think first of all, you have to check the main capacitor. If it's bulky or not, output capacitors are okay fuse inductor will be okay because it's switching and the voltage is coming out so as I can see none of the component is shorted or damaged so in the next step we have to figure out any dry solder dry solder or any damaged solder mask everything seems okay here so what's the problem as I noticed that here's this point of the this is the point of the transformer and it's dry soldered or uh, somehow it's solder mask is damaged as you can see that it's it's some as you can see it's disconnected from the PCB PCB path and it's moving So let's rub the this green mask and solder it to the this point. So let me show you something that it's not connected to the PCB. Its solder is damaged. As I set the multimeter to the continuity mode. You can see that 
this is the point these two points are shorted but if I connect to the this point and track its path and connect where as you can see that no continuity it means that it is disconnected from this path this this path this path goes directly into the this pin this pin path is okay also this one and also this one as you can see that it's disconnected from its path its shoulder it's damaged so let's rub it and solder its connections Now it's connected to its path. Let's check the continuity again. Yes, it's now connected. So let's test it for the final time. I'm still connected, connecting it to the series board. Always test your circuits with the series board. You can see that indicator light is turned on so let's connect it to the laptop as you can see that it's not blinking at all this light is not blinking at all and the laptop indicator light is turned on so it's charging yes we have repaired the charger sometimes the main problem is the only uh, short problem sometimes the problem is only minor and we behave like remove this this component also remove this component when guess again 